All right, that was a little petty, in my opinion. Some cracks and clamors, Poke fans, and I was supposed to talk about this video today. We're here to talk about episode 19 of Pokemon Horizons. Welcome, welcome back. Uh, today is the Murdoch episode, which okay, is it? I feel like the, the thing that happened was kind of you know petty as fuck, but I live for petty. Uh, and I want to state this before I forget it because I'm usually a stickler for nitpicking stuff, and I never actually noticed. I know people, probably a lot of fellow people have noticed it, but I missed it. that Murdoch's hair. If you look at his hair, he literally has a fork and a knife <laughs> as a design in his head. And I, I don't know how I never caught it. Maybe it's because he hasn't had like like too much of a focus that like we see him for an extended period of time, and it just I just never picked up on it. But it was funny when I first realized it, and it's just it's gonna go away. I'm uh, I'm gonna keep noticing it, but it's not gonna affect me as much. Uh, but I like the backstory they did with him and the fact that, you know, he used to be this, you know, past year guy, you know, always making these desserts for people alongside his friend Mitchell, and, and they did all this fun stuff together, and they had a, uh, what, what, I forget what the fucking thing is called, like the pre-able, the LC or MLC, some, something like that, uh, the Alcremi pre-evolution, because um, I didn't use it in-game. The thing, you know, it, it was there, it was helping them, was able to use the, it's, it's, uh, cream thing to to help both of them create the best creations they ever had. They're both very successful. They work together. They're friendly rivals. Um, and then just because uh, the you know the whatever the fuck is called like picked up some strawberries and then did the me me evolution method, which uh, is something that I I, com I internally complained about when it happened with Go. And anyways, here um, because of the fact that it had the strawberries on them. And did the whole spinning thing, which then caused it to evolve uh, into the strawberry Al Creamy. Then all of a sudden, Mitchell had his feelings hurt because of, you know, petty bullshit. Because, like, oh, you evolved into the wrong Al Creamy, which means now you're only going to make his stuff better than my stuff. It means I'm going to suck, as, even though I'm selling like crazy. Uh, I'm not going to sell as much as him because now he has this super sweet, extra delicious you know, thing that you're creating for him. Um, which is fucking, like I said, it's petty as fuck, but I, uh, <laughs> I live for the pettiness. And I, I just like the, I like the backstory. I like, the, I, I still want to know how he ended up being with the, with the Volketeers. I want to know how it got to, oh, I'm going to be in this bakery with my friend. And now that my Pokemon is evolved, I'm going to dip. And then now I'm with the Volketeers. Like I, I want to see the I want to see the transition that got Murdoch from there to where he is now. Because I don't know how you get from one point to the other. It's not like fucking you know. Well, we don't know for sure if Reed is just going around kidnapping people and being like, "Oh, you're gonna work in my ship now." Like we don't know if that's the case. But I don't know. Just I, I want to know how he got from point A to point B. I uh, hope we see that in the future. Uh, aside from that. I'm a little disappointed that this is Lego's, like, I, they used to do this a lot back. I hate to say it because I'm not supposed to talk about it anymore. But they used to do this shit with, with fucking past characters where they would have a double battle. Um, and it just felt like they, shit didn't get done for whatever reason. And I'm a little disappointed that Lego's first double battle um, with a partner doesn't even finish. Doesn't, doesn't even complete, which... It's got to put her behind. Like, I already think Liko's behind in terms of skills of everybody else on this goddamn ship. Um, and this is just keeps proving it. Murdoch, like, okay, besides, like, I said this before. But besides Free, nobody in this fucking ship is, is handling any business. Like, Roy's getting there. And it seems like Roy's going to be, like, the de facto, like, battler of the crew. Of, like, the, the trio, I should say. Cause not, not the crew, but, like, the, the three characters, the three children. Um, it seems like that's, like, the way they're heading with him. But I hope, I want Liko to do something too, right? I don't want it to just be Roy. Um, you have both of them as main characters. Dot is, you know, coming in through. And they have, they have all the three starters. I want them all to have their, their time in the spotlight. And the fact that they caught the battle short to turn it into a fucking bake-off. It, it just, 
I don't know. It just felt kind. Of, it, it made me feel some type of way. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. I don't. I don't know if I like the fact that they cut off his, her battle, and I hope they don't do this again. Okay, Liko deserves the time to have a legitimate battle, um, and and get some business done. Okay, the the other fucking battles we've seen. The only other battle besides the training they've done was an off-screen battle with the fucking Amethyl like subordinate. I don't want to see that anymore. I don't want Liko to either have battles off screen or they get cut off in the middle. It's one of the issues I had with fucking Serena back in the day. I said her name, god damn it. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't want to bring it up and it just, it just, I'm gonna leave it in. I'm gonna leave it in the video because it has to be said. Uh, I don't want her to not have shit happen on screen. I don't want her to not have her battles happen, okay? If she's gonna have a battle, have her finish it from beginning to end. That's like my only gripe with this episode is that it's the fact that the fucking battle, which is supposed to highlight Liko um, for the first fucking time, went in a completely different direction and she didn't get to do shit. Um, okay, I, I, I want her to get some fucking battling done. For fuck's sakes. Anyway, I get that in the next episode because they're, fa they're facing Kabu. They're, they're, they're training with Kabu. They're doing something with Kabu. And I'm legitimately looking forward to that because Kabu wasn't in the original series. He, didn't, he wasn't in Journeys at all. They never showed this man. So... I'm, I'm excited to see what, what they're going to do with him. Because I actually like Kabu in the games. I like the Sword and Shield characters I, I generally have fond memories with. And Kabu, I really liked him as a, as a gym leader. I thought he was cool. I like his motivations. I like the way he is. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing the, the characterization they're going to do with him in, in, in the anime uh, for the first time. And the fact that he's having something to do with Liko and Roy. And again, Roy's stuck in this. That's what I'm saying. I want Liko to have some side in the spotlight. But, you know, we're going to get there. But uh, I'm looking forward to how they're going to handle this training session. And, and getting them prepared, you know, I, I'm really, I don't think they're going to have a full-on battle. Like, I highly doubt they're going to have Kabu facing these fucking children who haven't even, they haven't actually started a legitimate train, like, trainer journey type of deal. Like, they're, they're not, like, gym leader challengers or shit like that. Um, so I don't think they're going to go, like, a full-on battle. I think it's just going to be, like, random grunts and, like, the lit wakes that they show on the, in the, in the trailer. Uh, not the trailer, the preview. I think that's going to be like the, the highest it's going to go. And then Kabu might show off a little bit with, so that they can see. But I don't think they're actually going to battle the guy. But I'm looking forward to that. And overall, like it was it was just a nice episode. Um, it, it ended with a, like, hey, we were being petty as fuck. I apologize. Murdoch, I apologize too. And then, like, we're friends, you know? Um, the only thing I hope this doesn't lead to. Because it just feels like, I, I hope Mitchell comes back in the next episode. That's what I'm pointing. Because, like, I don't want it to be just a one-off where... We meet Mitchell. They, they there was this backstory with him and Murdoch. Al Creamy's not friends with both of them again because Mitchell was being you know petty as fuck as I said, um, and had his, because his feelings were hurt. He didn't want to touch Al Creamy. He didn't want to be with Al Creamy. He didn't want anything to do with Al Creamy. The fact that now they're reunited, I don't want it to just be a one off. We're like, oh, okay, hi, goodbye. And you know, I want that. I want to have some substance. You know, I want some meaning behind this shit. So I hope that he shows up again at, in some way, shape, or form. And, and that they're able to like grow this friendship back up because I mean you just became friends again Like don't 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 leave it away. You know don't don't let it you know simmer down and, and go away Like I want it to, to be a thing. Okay, we already had this with fucking what, what, what the fuck her name? I already forgot her goddamn name on it's up. It's fucking on <laughs> I was close Okay, it had an A in the beginning Um, but we haven't really seen anything with her in, in a minute and she's supposed to be legal's fucking best friend um or, or she was because the first interactions they have in school, but like she's been she's been relegated to nothingness. Like I don't want I don't want these these characters that are supposed to have meaning to a fucking character that we're we're, we're fucking with um, to just disappear into nothingness. So uh, I I hope that Mitchell does come back. I hope that he he has something to contribute to Murdoch's journey and all that stuff. Um, and I'm looking forward to Kabu. You know I'm really I really am. Um, as for a rating, I think I'm gonna give this episode. Uh, like an 8.3 out of 10 because uh, like I said it was really solid I really enjoyed it I just hope that this isn't like a one-off Le let Liko fucking finish the battle for fuck's sakes like I don't want this this fucking nonsense she, she needs to win she needs to win under her belt and I understand it but that's gonna be it for this review thank you guys so much for watching leave your thoughts comments in the comment section below link in the description for you guys to watch the episode also make sure to watch my conspiracy theory not conspiracy my Pokemon Horizons theory video that I made a couple videos ago um, well, not a couple of videos ago, a couple of days ago, uh, where I speculate Liko catching her first Pokemon, which is going to be a Um I'll leave the link in the outro of the video, like I tend to do. I, I, I do all that stuff, so I want you guys to watch it, have fun with it. Um, and that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. I've been Sorus Croxon, and I'll see you guys in future videos.